Let's talk about the new with attributes method that we can apply to relationships on our models. Now, this is incredibly useful because it actually does two things. So let's go through these one by one and then we'll see that combined these can be really helpful in setting defaults and also scoping by certain attributes as well. OK, so to demonstrate this, I've got a model with a posts relationship. Let's open this up. Very, very straightforward. We just have a has many posts and I've already created some over in the database here and we've got a featured column. So this is just a Boolean column. And you can see here I've got two featured and one not featured. Now, at the moment in the browser, uh, I'm just dumping out all of the posts. And of course, we get a Laravel collection of three items. Let's go ahead and create out a scope for this. So what we would do is I would typically come over here. I would duplicate something like this method. I'd say featured posts, and then you could either redefine has many, or you could reference posts here. And then typically what we would do is add a where clause onto here. And all this means is it just makes it incredibly straightforward to scope these by what is featured and what is not. So we're going to say where featured true. Really, really straightforward. You might have done something like this in the past. And then, of course, when we come over here and we dump out featured posts, that's only going to give us two. So you've probably done something like that in the past. Pretty straightforward. And that just gives you your code probably a lot more clarity. Now, what has been added to Laravel is a with attributes so let's go ahead and add this in method what this allows us to do is we're not going to think of this as a complete direct replacement for where that's not really the specific purpose of this but we're going to pass in an array and of course because it's an array now we can pass in multiple attributes that we want to map values to and we're going to say featured and true. Now, by doing that, we're going to get exactly the same result. So bear with me. Let's give this a refresh and you can see, sure enough, we still get two here. Now, the difference between using with attributes and where with attributes, when we create a record via this relationship, this featured posts relationship, which I'm actually going to change the name of here, this will pre fill in feature to true. Now, to demonstrate this, let's go back over to here and say featured posts. I'm going to just temporarily comment this out and bring this back to how it was before. So let's go ahead and say where, which is perfectly acceptable still. You don't need to not do this featured and true. So we know that over here, that's going to give us two records. But what about when we want to go ahead and create a featured post? Well, we'd say user featured posts and we'd use the actual relationship here and we would say create we'd fill in the title and stuff like this but i haven't actually added these to the model now when we go ahead and create that featured post what has happened well over in the database a post has been created but it hasn't pre-filled featured so let's go ahead and get rid of this from the database and let's go back over and let's switch this up for with attributes, which will scope it by featured, but it will also pre-fill in featured for us. So let's go back over to web. We'll do exactly the same thing here without specifically passing this through. And we now end up with another featured post. So if you have been using relationships like this, where the whole purpose of it is to lean on an existing relationship, but then scope it using a where clause, if it makes sense for you to then, when you're creating through that relationship, pre-fill in the attributes, then you can now do that with the new with attributes method. And you can, of course, because this is an array, pass in as many as you need here. So this is incredibly helpful and I will definitely be using this because I tend to define a lot of these kinds of relationship methods out.